we're good. In Edmonton, Dr. Chris DeGuerra is about to remove another gastric band. It's a silicone device implanted at the top of the stomach meant to shrink the appetite. Patients who, who must have these things removed come in with a history of vomiting intermittently, difficulty swallowing. Okay, there. Across Canada, surgeons like Daguerre have taken out nearly 2,400 bands over the last seven years. Many of them put in at private clinics. Marketplace crunched the numbers and each removal costs anywhere from $3,000 to $14,000, leaving taxpayers on the hook for up to $33 million. Say goodbye to every diet under the sun. It was a commercial like this that lured in Barb Litt. They had me hook, line and sinker. Slimban used to be one of the leading weight loss surgery clinics in the country. And Barb's procedure wasn't cheap, around $16,000. As for the results? I lost 25 pounds and I regained that back. So in total, I maybe kept 10 pounds off. Then she started experiencing shooting pain in her side. Since I bump into something, I'm like, I'm deviled over in the pain. Lit had her band removed in hospital. So did Maxine Jeffrey. Her slim band was removed in emergency surgery after severe complications. She couldn't keep food down and eventually couldn't even swallow water. My stomach was so irritated from getting stuck that it had swollen shut. Slim Band is no longer taking new patients and wouldn't talk to us on camera. I don't think anyone's here. No. But Jeffrey and Lit are not the only ones. There have been numerous complaints and complications connected to gastric banding, including the band slipping or eroding with bleeding and blockages. Problems Dr. David Urbach knows all too well. He removes one to two bands a month at this Toronto hospital. We suspect that nearly all of the bands that are placed at some point will need to be removed for one reason or another. So the clinics are very happy to privatize all the gains, uh, but they uh, essentially socialize the losses because those are all born uh, in the public system where we absorb the risk of looking after problems. And Asha joins us now with more. So if that procedure isn't working, is, is there anything that does? Well, Dr. Urbach says the gold standard, really, of all bariatric operations is the gastric bypass, which is publicly funded, and it's meant to restrict food intake and calorie absorption. Both Urbach and Daguerre say it's a better long-term solution because there's more aftercare support. But even that, not, not everyone's eligible, right? It's true. So there's a strict criteria to qualify for this surgery. You need a very high body mass index. So we're talking high 30s, 40s onwards. And they also take into consideration any weight-related conditions like diabetes or sleep apnea, for example. But even if you don't qualify, Dr. Urbach says, that's probably good news. It means you likely don't need a drastic measure like surgery and you could just make lifestyle changes to really accomplish your goals. Okay, Ash Tomlinson, thanks very much. Thank you. So tune in to CBC's Marketplace tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern for the full story.